curious kind of what got you into trail running and what kind of accomplishments uh, do you have? Well, I've been trail running all along from, uh, from when I got out of college. Uh, definitely enjoyed that aspect. Uh, you know, mixing things up, getting off-road, doing something a little more interesting. You know, just being out in nature mm -hmm. more so. And, um, I've been a road racer for years, and uh, uh, I got the trail bug though once I started doing a few trails because it's it's a whole different environment, a whole different type of running. It's uh, you got to be watching where you're going as much as you are your speed and, mm -hmm. and all. So it's uh, it, it's more fun. It's, it's actually more relaxing. But a lot of times those hills are a little more demanding. <laughs> I think anybody who has run a trail race understands that time means nothing out right. of the woods. And, and I think you have to experience that before you get to understand it. I mean, a road runner, yeah, might look at it and say, it's a 10K in an hour? What? But yeah, I think I think every trail runner understands that you throw away your watch in the woods. It doesn't mean anything. And, um, well, I grew up in Colorado, and so it's when you run high school cross country and stuff you go and run a lot on trails and stuff like that and uh, went to college in Colorado and then moved to Flagstaff where it's just amazing trails there mm -hmm. so and that's really where um, I just start started training all the time on trails and, uh, and I rarely run on roads I rarely run off trail uh, so so yeah so I've just been doing it for the past five years now Oh, I love the race. It's a great setting. You, you can't beat the setting, the terrain, mm -hmm. uh, the technical nature of the trail. Mm -hmm. A lot of the U.S. trail championships are basically on fire roads, and I wouldn't really call them a trail. This is a real trail championship. Mm -hmm. A lot of, you know, dancing, fancy footwork, which I love. Uh, great people. Can't beat the southern hospitality. Like I said, this is so well run. Uh, it's, a, it's a treat to come in and, and do this. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a unique course with the, the sort of the clover leaf design. You get you get a lot of up and down, and, um, and that's the kind of thing I like. Um, well, this is my uh, second time back, and uh, unfortunately missed last year. But I'd say that uh, really excited to be back this year. Um, I've had uh, a mix of nightmares and uh, fantasies about coming back on this course. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, as far as the race, yeah, this is, I still think this is one of the hardest races I've done ever. I mean, this is still my second time, but it's hard to compare it to anything, uh, especially on the East Coast. I haven't run too much, um, you know, in the West, but I was just training out in Colorado a couple weeks ago, and this is still by far <laughs> more intense than any other stuff I was doing out there. So it's, uh, it's, it's always humbling to come out here to this, this event. Struggle. I met, um, <clears throat> Jason was down in um, North Georgia. We did a race called the Hogpin Hill Climb. Mm -hmm. And um, I met Jason there. And um, at that time, I was still getting into the whole trail thing. Um, and he was like, man, you need to come up. We're going to do a national race. You know, I think you would like it. And he's like, if you like trail running. And I was like, oh, you know, come check it out. And that's pretty much called David. And, you know, David and I train a lot together. So he was like, uh, I said, well, just come on up and check it out. And then every day, when I came up here in 2009, I just thought it was awesome. Just one of the best courses, best races that I've ever done. It's been, it's been great. It's, it's given me something to look forward to every day, something to strive towards. And, um, they did a great job putting the race on. And it was, you had to have a little bit of everything. You had to have speed going on. You had to have strength. You had to be a good cross runner, good hill climber, good downhill runner. I mean, you had to be... You had to be going well in all directions on this course. How did this start? Where do I begin? I've lost all my touch and I cannot win. Why did we leave everything behind? I know I am lost.
We are lost in a world of wonder Questions asked, its meanings don't be through Tides will all pull us under We'll make beliefs come true In this world you will see Utter bliss and happiness for us And all as we fall into the unforgiving ground as we sink and talk into the setting sun We know there's no one left There's no one else to blame And as we fall We realize the truth While we sympathize with you And your dreams are coming home again You're bringing it back again Fall like autumn's leaves blow Lost in a world of wonder Questions asked, its meanings don't peer through Tides will all pull us under We'll make beliefs come true And as we sink and talk into the setting sun We know there's no one left There's no one else to blame Again, fall like autumn's leaves blow through. So we sympathize with you and your fairy tales of coming home. You're bringing us all. The words you speak will guide us home, but still. Uh, it was crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I ran the second half before the, the race and thought about dropping out even before I started, but um, it's definitely fun. I actually pictured that the way I got over the fear of the roots, because I haven't really done any trail running, I uh, was thinking of Maria as a wolf chasing me, which is pretty uh, lo logical when you're in the woods. Um, not as logical on the road, so I don't know if I'll be able to use that talk tactic in my normal races, but uh, it was a great time, yeah. really fun, it's a good, good crew out here, I like the 
the adventurous folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nice. Um, I felt good. Um, just tried to go out with the top guys and, and stay uh, stay with them. I wasn't really thinking about masters or open. It was just you know trying to go out with, with whoever was out in front. So um, I thought the course was you know of course beautiful. It's one of the best trail races. It's hard as all get out, but I think it um, it makes the course regardless of whatever your discipline is. It's, it's a level field when you come here. So. Tim Sykes, yes. congratulations on improving your time from Thank last you. year and top 10. Thank you. Sneeze at. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy with the place. And I actually just, um, this week, I just defended my doctoral, de my did my final defense on my uh, dissertation, so I got my doctorate, completed all requirements for my doctorate degree. So oh, that's been the focus. Congratulations. That's been the focus this spring. I kind of got away from some of the, as much of the mileage. I'm a big high mileage guy, <clears throat> and I haven't been able to do that. So I hope next year, I'm gonna get in some more trail races throughout the fall, and uh, and then hopefully come back next year, and top five finish. We'll see though. It can be Doctor Dirt. Doctor Dirt. It's getting it's getting faster here though. This this race is getting the guys this year. Man, unbelievable. Well, I mean, people are here have been so overly nice. I'm so happy this opportunity, and I look forward to next year. You know, with all, I, I mean, just everyone's been wonderful. It's been <laughs> Are you going to come back next year? Oh, of course. I'll come back every year. Death as we fall, we realize the truth. While we sympathize with you, and your dreams are coming home again. You're bringing it back again. Fall, I've got a place to flow through. So we sympathize with you, and your fairy tales are coming home. Sympathize with you And your dreams are coming home